I think we just need to keep our travelling in check. We have one kid first, then we see how. <laughs> Kids are expensive. <laughs> that is my biggest fear. Sometimes my wants are more yeah, than my needs. <laughs> Myself, no McDonald's because I'm gonna eat it today. Right? Yeah. Okay, okay, right. Uh, how about this? You wanna try this? It's like bubble gum. So, if you ask me how much money is enough for me, mm -hmm. I'll say basically earn enough to have a car, have a house, decent house. What enough money means to me? I think like extra money to be able to go overseas and afford like luxuries like Starbucks. Maybe if I have a kid next time, if they're like, oh, I want to study overseas, then I'm like, okay, I can like maybe pay for you a Simple. little bit. Yeah. Where we don't feel like we are struggling to put food on the table, where we don't feel like we are living paycheck to paycheck. Enough money would be, do I have enough money to go and save up for a wedding, as we are doing? Mm -hmm. Or do I have enough money to save up for our house, our car, our children? It's funny because I just had a conversation the other day at home, remember? I think 3k for me at this current juncture is enough for me to before, survive. Before kids lah. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. yeah. And if you choose to go and take more money to go and spend it, it's just a personal choice, so that's up yeah. to you. But fine. you gotta make sure that you've got that emergency fund set aside for yourself lah. Enough money yeah. <sighs> Money is never enough in Singapore. Uh, but what we can do is we spend on the minimum and then save the rest. Okay, for me, enough money means that um, so long as you have a shelter to live in, you have uh, clothes, food and uh, savings for kids, I think that's enough. But of course, enough is never enough. Correct. So, I mean, as we spend, the money will keep depleting. So, of mm. course, we need to ensure that we keep on saving so that we will have enough. How do you imagine your work to change in the future? I definitely do see myself continuously progressing, but what that end looks like, I don't have a clear picture of. So, I mean, I've been jumping industries. Uh. I started out doing events, then I was working in the medical line, doing operations, then now I'm back to events, and then I'm also pursuing something completely different. I think it's better to be well versed in many different things. Then yeah. you're an asset. For sure. I can foresee myself having multiple income streams. Mm -hmm. Not just one, maybe like another creative business on the side. That's how I'll be able to have extra money. I want a job where I have slightly more freedom. Pay wise, it depends on how hard I work. But as long as it's people oriented, I don't really care what the job is. Last time when I was working, every day you have to come to work, you have to face the front office, but now it is hybrid. So I, I prefer my current work in the future to be as flexible, where I don't need to work uh, after office hours. My current work, uh, at this moment, of course, we report to work every day. Nah. But of course, what I see in the near future, right, of course, you take on more projects, you will be at a senior level, then uh, you start to slow down a bit, and then uh, you work towards your retirement, right? Yo, know, that thing suddenly become really expensive. That's your biggest fear. Yeah. Or like, okay, no, I'm very scared that houses become hella expensive until like we can't afford to live anywhere. I don't even want a car right now. I just want a house. Mm, my biggest fear about money is losing it all. What if someday you never know, some guy just come or it can be your close friend then talk to you then say, hey, bro, I got this opportunity. Then you just, I don't know, do this with me. Then boom, your chin. Your money all gone. Okay, okay. I mean, since you're aware of that, don't get scared more. Or just like, don't don't be so greedy, I guess. I'm not having enough. Of course lah. It's a very straightforward answer, but like, why? My mom was the sole breadwinner of the house. We obviously were very limited on what we could buy, what we couldn't buy. So every time, like, I would feel like, I could not experience the same things that my friends are experiencing. I don't want my future children to feel like that. When I was younger as well, you know this, my family also was not the most well-to-do. Like, we had the mirage that our family was fine, but there was a lot of hidden things that needed to be paid for, and it affected our family a little bit. Lah. And it helped me cultivate a bit of a habit for saving money and like being a bit more spendthrift. Having more money should automatically mean saving up more for our future. Yeah. But if we start, you know, idolizing like, you know, we want a car, money will come to a point where it starts controlling us. Uh, and we've got to make sure that we're wary of these things. Uh, True. Within our means. Uh. Yeah.
biggest fear actually i wouldn't say fear lah if we if we spend on what we actually uh, need i think that's more more than good enough for us to actually uh, run through the phase i agree with you everything costs money we need to spend a bit wisely and we need to we need to actually um, categorize our needs and wants that is my biggest fear sometimes my my wants are more yeah, than my needs uh, no, because you, 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 you love retail therapy right but my my advice to you is if you, if you really need this for the house or for the kids then of course why not you go ahead and buy but don't just buy something because everyone else is having it i also want to have it ah this this is something we should actually consider before we actually purchase something how do you feel about the way we spend money now you spend a lot on crystals i don't know, i feel like i shop quite a lot it's like the but i shop within my means you know i have a budget to have enough money you have to make sure you have a set aside portion to save every month but you also have like a few hundred to spend on yourself like just wow yeah if i have an income of three thousand dollars for example i will aim to save 50 percent of it i spend about at most seven hundred dollars so you have eight hundred go to my like... travel funds oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> travel okay, okay. Travel travel fund. yeah travel fund. Fund. if makes i sense. if i have that yeah yeah, yeah yeah makes sense yeah when i get my payday first thing is to go and clear the credit card and then after that set aside my money into our savings my own savings and then my monthly expenditure so once I've done that, I know exactly what I've got to do for the month. Ah. It's been a very good way to handle my money. I don't take cabs that often. You, on the other hand, suddenly will grab food, a wolf burger from don't know where. No, it was ages ago, Satya. Bro, sometimes the things you tell me you grab food, I'm like, where did you order from? That's some island-wide delivery stuff, man. I love food, right? Like. I mean, we both do. Lah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like our dates literally are just of us going out and trying different food yeah. spots and enjoying ourselves both of us like we don't necessarily splurge on things that are out of our means so i'm fine with that i think we just need to keep our traveling in check we have too many trips planned for the year yeah do last time i used to spend a lot of clothes and all but now i feel like i have too many clothes and there's no space so i have actually cut down I on think, my I shopping think, i think your interest has already changed mm. towards uh, like house we yeah. decorate our house like like oh my god we have the best house in the mm. whole wide world and then uh, you also spend a lot for the kids in terms of like yes, I usually take care product. of the house and yeah. the kids you take care of the groceries yeah, and so, the utility bills and everything I mean, you bills are all, care. obviously it will fall under us. yeah I mean, uh, we, we share the responsibility we see how best we can actually serve uh, to be a happy family you know? If everything goes well, all the way to marriage, all the way to buying house, all the way to having kids, I wish to have enough money to give my kids a comfortable life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then also at the same time, make you feel comfortable enough to not compare yourself with other peers. If we can reach that kind of stage together, mm -hmm. then it will be quite healthy. Yeah. I wouldn't leave all the financial burden to you. La. Like, we don't have to live in a big house but it must be nicely decorated. It must have big windows so I can grow plants. <laughs> what? You see, we are not on the same level. What do you mean? Not talking about we are the same, same level. We are not talking about the same thing. You are talking about you. We must have enough money or like be comfortable enough that our parents will not... Worry. Yeah, worry. Uh -huh. Or tell us like, hey, is your partner treating you well? We we'll have one kid first, then we see how. <laughs> oh, it's true. Kids are expensive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the quality of life matters more than the amount of kids we have. I think along the lines of what we already mentioned, like we want to be comfortable, right? We want to be able to provide our children with a good life. Like with a yeah. life where they don't feel like, hey, how come this kid has this thing and I don't? Yeah, I think that's for the future. Yeah. But more immediate, okay. we've been working on saving our money. Like, we, like we've had this 100k plan, which can then be split into the wedding, house, Reno and possibly honeymoon lah. I think our goals and plans have already been set in place. We're on track. Yeah. Good job. Uh, we should save some for holiday. We should have our own uh, savings for retirement and for for rainy days. And uh, and of course another one would be for kids education. That's what we are actually working out for. Like we have. A uh, couple of savings plans and a uh, couple of uh, accounts uh, mm. open for dif in different banks mm -hmm. so that we can actually segregate for our kids 
uh, and also for us uh, when we actually retire in the near future. Your burger looks beautiful by the way. It is beautiful. Look at the bun, it's so much shinier now. No, it's the same bun. They recently changed the bun.